When nukes help solve art crimes, can a nuclear bomb help uncover art forgeries? Believe it or not, the answer is yes. Before 1945, certain isotopes didn't exist in nature. They only emerged after the first nuclear explosions. These isotopes, such as strontium-90 and cesium-137, are now in the environment. They were released into the air during nuclear tests. If a painting contains these, it can only have been created after the atomic age. Between 1945 and 1963, over 500 nuclear bombs were detonated. They released these isotopes into the atmosphere. Crops absorbed them. These crops later became the oil used in paints. Dr. Elena Basner, an art curator, took note of this in her search for fakes. She worked with chemists, physicists, and mineralogists. They found that cesium-137 and strontium-90 in a painting's oil show its post-1945. They used a mass spectrometer to analyze tiny paint samples. These samples were no larger than 1 25th of an inch. Before this, experts relied on radiocarbon dating. This method measures the decay of carbon atoms in organic material. But radiocarbon dating was often unreliable for newer works. Forgeries could reuse old canvases, dodging tests. Even small samples needed to be taken. This sometimes caused damage. The bomb peak of carbon-14 spiked after nuclear tests. Scientists can now trace an artwork's age by how much carbon-14 is in the materials. Paintings from after 1963 have much higher levels. This makes it easier to spot fakes. The team analyzed a painting by Robert Trotter, a well-known art forger. Trotter's work was sold as a 19th century piece. It was actually from the 1980s. Basner confirmed the painting contained modern isotopes, proving it was a forgery. While this method is revolutionary, it has some limitations. It's not foolproof the isotopes degrade over time. Their levels eventually return to pre-1945 amounts, so this method will become less effective as the bomb peak fades. No single test can guarantee authenticity. Forgeries will always evolve with new techniques.